Hey guys, it's Jesse from FPSSquared.com and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a game called Simple Planes. This game has been out for a while, but I haven't got around to making a video. I've actually had it since pretty like the first week it came out. But there were issues with the original recording that I did. Uh, the audio didn't sync up, so I kind of delayed on making a new video for it. But decided this week would be a good week to do a video for it because uh, it's on sale for $9.74. It's originally $12.99, but with the Steam sale going on right now, the Lunar Steam sale, um, it is $9.74. Um, this is a pretty cool game. Uh, you, you build airplanes, and you fly them, and you try to shoot other shit with them, and you try to beat other shit with them. It's really cool. Uh, let me just show you guys the modes. So, the f there's these five modes you can see here. School is basically just tutorials. It's going to show you how to build. It's going to show you how to um, build them good. Uh, and that's something that I still lack fundamental skill in. Uh, I really suck at making um, planes in this game. But I really like the game. So. Uh, it shows you the basic flying. shows you weapons. shows you how to take off and land. And it shows you... Uh, it like puts something together, I think. I haven't actually done this. You can see these greens are the ones that I've done. I haven't done most of these. Um, but I imagine this is just something... Yeah, it's just you take off land, you do everything. The whole process right here. Um, so there's that. There's school. There's races, which... I have done one of these, but I've never finished one. So unfortunately, it looks like I haven't done them. But I've tried this one multiple times, and I still have not been able to beat my opponent. Um, but basically what this is is exactly what it sounds like. You pick one of the airplanes you've built, and you try to race, and you try to beat the person. Um, it is AI. I don't, want to, I don't want you to think this is like multiplayer or anything, but you try to beat the AI um, player with the custom airplane you've built. Really cool. And in the same vein of races, you have combat, which is, instead of racing someone else, you try to shoot the little fucker down um, with your guns on your on your big badass custom plane. And then you also have challenges, which I have not even looked at this, so I would be lying if I told you I know anything about any of these. And you have sandbox, with, and that's where I spend most of my time. I've got like... Uh, two hours played, and this is where I spent most of my time so far in the game. Uh, this is what I like doing. Basically, this is just going to be, um, you know, building airplanes and just seeing if they fly. This is a good way to practice, at least this is basically the way I've been practicing. So, um, I'm going to do a race mode. Uh, I'm not going to do combat, and I'm not going to do challenges, but I'm going to do one race. Before we get into Sandbox, because Sandbox is where I'm going to spend most of the time of this video. But I'll do a race just to show you guys like what another mode other than Sandbox looks like. Uh, but before we start, I'd like to apologize that this is windowed. Um, it has nothing to do with the game. It, the game does support full screen and it does support resolution up to 920 by 1080 um, The problem was that my recording equipment, and I say equipment very loosely, it's software. My recording software cannot record a game in full screen, so or at least not this particular game in full screen. Uh, I believe it's because it doesn't use DirectX, so unfortunately I had to put it in windowed mode and at a weird resolution. But when you get the game and you just want to play it, you don't want to record it, you will be able to play in full screen 1080p. Um, let's, let's just do this one because I'm most familiar with it. Now, this this airplane here is not one I've built. I don't want you to think that I've built this. Um, I have not. The game comes with like maybe 10 uh, aircraft preloaded. And it also allows you to download uh, the community's custom aircraft as well. So, I think this one... I think this one is one that came with the game. Though it could have been one I downloaded. I don't really remember. This one's one that came with the game. This one came preloaded. I think that one did. I think this one did not. This is a community airplane. And we'll look at downloading community airplanes in a sec. This one definitely did not. This one's really cool. We're going to take a look at this when I get into the community airplanes. This thing is fucking sick. Um, 
This one may have came with the game. I don't remember. And then this one definitely came with the game. So you get a few preloaded um, aircraft when you open up your game. And you know what? Let's use this one because this one will be fast as fuck. And hopefully we'll be able to beat this guy. So yeah, I'm using this jet engine aircraft against that one little uh, motor that he's got. So I should be able to beat him. Oh god, maybe not though. It's actually, I'm, I get confused very easily on how to fly. Um, yeah, I'm missing a ton. What the hell's wrong with this thing? This thing actually sucks, honestly. But, um, yeah, this would be like, normally, you know, you wouldn't be a pussy and try to get one of the pre-made aircraft. You would actually build your own and try to beat this guy legit. Even though I'm still not beating him because I suck at flying this thing. But, uh, this is the race mode. You basically, you would build an aircraft and you would come in. And you would try to hit these waypoints. And not crash like I just did. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fuck around with this uh, anymore, I don't think. Um, sorry. But, that's race mode. You know, I think you get the gist of it. You fly through waypoints and you try to beat your opponent. Um, let's go to, let's go to sandbox mode, because I think that's where most people are going to spend most of their time, is in sandbox mode, honestly. Um, this might be new at the patch. Is this new? Oh, I see, maybe this is local multiplayer? I'm not sure about that, that's something new, I haven't played this game since the new patch came out, so... I don't know about that. It looks like it might have some local multiplayer support. Um, let's see. Let's see if this... Oh, no, he's... What's going on? There's like a glitch happening or something, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Um... Anyway, let's go to build and fly because that's the main mode of sandbox. Uh, that's where you build an airplane and try to fly it. So you can see that it's still got my old airplane. To get a new airplane, I'm just going to click new aircraft. And this is what it gives you whenever you want to start building a a new airplane. It gives you this these two little uh, blocks here and a cockpit to start with. So we can just work off of that. I can click this plus button here and I can add structural components here you can see there's a few things you can add wings here propulsion components landing gears cockpits gizmos which are stuff like cameras and detachers and stuff like that um, weapons which again would come in would come in handy in the combat section but we're not going to get even get into weapons in this video at all and then you have sub-assemblies, which has nothing under it, because I'm not sure what that does. Also, I'm not aware... I haven't really gotten made progress in this game that much. Um, again, all I really like to do is build airplanes and fly them over and over again. So, I'm not really sure if there's an unlock system at all. Um, if there is, I haven't ran into anything uh, to unlock, but... It's possible that you could unlock things as you do, as you complete the um, more structured missions, like the races and the challenges and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get into building this airplane. Um, let's add a block up front. We'll make, we'll put our engine here, and we'll just keep building with just a single block width. I'm not creative enough um, at all. To understand how you would make like the jets, the fighter jets, and the stuff like that, uh, I'm nowhere near creative enough to sculpt something like that. So this plane's gonna be a piece of shit. But the purpose of this video, obviously, isn't to show off my construction ability in this game. It's just to show off what the game's about. So let's see. But I'll just call this a glider because it kind of looks like a glider, even though it's got a propeller on the front of it or it will. So, we've got the basic structure down right here. Let's add an engine <laughs> to the front of it. Oh, my God. you got to have fuel tanks. So, 
Let's add just one fuel tank. That's all you need. And hopefully to get maybe better airflow, we can flip it. Which the flipping is really annoying in this, but you see you have to go into like two different menus for some reason. Um, but anyway, we'll flip it. Hopefully that causes better airflow, though I doubt it. Um, oh, actually, you can see drag. Um, you can show drag, so where you're playing drags the most will be in red. Obviously, the front end uh, is flat here, so it has a lot of drag. But, uh, yeah, I think that's an improvement. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that matters. I really don't know how um, air dynamics works, honestly. Uh, it's it, it doesn't look it, but it's insanely in depth. Like it has a very simple cartoonish art style, and you kind of like shrug it off as just probably like this kind of casual game. But it actually gets surprisingly in depth, which is one of the things I like about it um, because it allows creative people to make cool shit. And at the same time, it's one of the things I hate about it because it kind of doesn't allow for people to fuck off, fuck around um, like I like to do. Let's put the fuel tank there. Because you have to kind of know what you're doing, honestly. Um, and it can be frustrating. You, you would think that some of the airplanes you make would fly. And when they don't, it's kind of annoying. Alright, so this airplane obviously... Whoa, this airplane's fucked up. This airplane obviously needs some wings, so let's, I don't know if I like that, but well, we'll try it. Let's go right here and we'll add a primary wing, and for some reason it fucks up. You know, this is a pretty independent studio makes made this game, so you can edit the wing here. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter and wider. Again, I'm sure like some aeronautical engineers fucking shaking their head right now like what an idiot but you know what I don't give a fuck sorry for cursing again um let's see so there's a way to mirror this and I don't remember okay here we go you can mirror the other wing so you don't have to fuck with making sure that the other side of your wing is um exactly the same as this one you can just mirror it okay so it's got the wings it's got the propeller it's got the fuel tank. Um, and actually, if you make your plane big enough, you don't need fuel tanks. They add fuel in the wings. Um, I think I hold 69 gallons of fuel right now. So can I delete this, actually? Yeah, I, I hold 49 gallons of, of fuel without the fuel tank. So let's just go with that. Um, you can see the weight at the bottom, too. The weight obviously affects... You know, you need to account for the weight when you put on what type of engine you're going to put on your um, plane. I've put the weakest one. It's just a little single propeller thing. You can actually, if you wanted to, you could make... It's really cool. You could make anything you wanted. You could put like four engines over here and four engines over here if you wanted. But uh, you can even put jet engines on it. It's really neat. Alright, let's see. We need some... Let's make it a little bit longer, because I feel like this is going to be front heavy. I don't know if that's the way you'd say that. I was going to say top heavy, but it's really not the top, it's the front, so. Alright, we'll put this back here. We'll put an angled block here, too. Alright, and that's where our, um, you know, stabilizers will go. We'll put that there. A vertical stabilizer here looks good looks real good so far let's mirror it again oh whoops let's mirror that okay oh yeah this plane's gonna fly let's put a landing gear down oh that's not the kind of landing gear I need a wing landing gear let's go with that now let's mirror. Hold on, let's. You have to. I'm. I forgot. I needed to put that on before I mirrored. But okay. Perfect. Now we'll put this little landing gear down. This thing's perfect. Here we go. It's gonna fly into the sky, baby. I guarantee it. Look at this thing. She's a beauty. Here we go.
Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it flies. Oh! I think we're going to get air with this one. Yeah! It's a little nose heavy. Like, you got to stay back on it or you'll descend. But you know what? F flying's flying. It don't matter how good you get up, but uh, as long as you get up. Wow, I can't believe this piece of shit flies, honestly. I was expecting it to not fly and it'd be kind of funny, but... It flew! Um, you can see this is the map you get. There are no different maps. This is the only map in the game. I don't know if this game has, like, workshop support and you can download other maps from other players or not, but... This is the only map I've ever used, and I mean, you know, it's big. You can see out here there's an aircraft carrier. Let's go out there and fly to it if we can make it. We're going 200 miles an hour. We gotta get there in a jiffy. This is actually really annoying um, with like digital buttons trying to keep this thing level. I'm basically just tapping it. Yeah, I'm not going all the way out to that aircraft carrier. It's still like a little speck, but you know, there's things to see. There's like another ship out here. There's an island over there. Right there's the island. Um, I don't really care for the map I don't like I don't think it suits the games otherwise kind of again cartoonish isn't really the word but I can't really think of what to call it but like not quite realistic art style and then compared to this map it's like this map is super realistic looking and it's honestly not a well done map like I can see like they've put this in some 3d modeling program and just like put the raised level brush here and just held it in but you know whatever um yeah that's that's building an airplane and flying it that's pretty much what you'd be doing in this game if you got it um it's hard to believe that airplane weighs 2700 pounds but it does it's a one tonner so anyway another cool thing this game does i'm gonna show off one more thing um other than you know, building your own airplanes. You can download other people's airplanes. So, let me figure out how to do that because I'm sure I've forgotten. Let's exit that. Okay, down. you go to download planes here under the sandbox. And it's going to open up like this web browser in Steam for you. And let's just see what we can get. Wow, somebody's got an ATST in here. You know... Uh, TIE Interceptor, you may have saw earlier, I've got a few of the Star Wars things, uh, Star Wars ships, but, okay, some Destiny ships, you know, all kinds of stuff, um, what should we download? Oh, we could download Thomas the Train. Wow, this is crazy, people are like building cars, people are just getting crazy with this shit. Let's go with this one, this kind of old looking thing. There has to be a way to unlock more stuff because people are like, unless they're like using the propellers and editing the propellers, like people are putting like rotors on helicopters and stuff. So I would imagine there's a way to, let's go ahead and download this, to unlock things. So you see, it was that simple. Uh, you just click download. And just like that, you've got yourself a community-made aircraft, which you can then fly just like any normal one. Um, yeah, there's no way there's not unlocks in this game because people are making helicopters and shit. But um, I want to show off a few more of the uh, airplanes that I've downloaded before I go. So let's load up. Um, where is the? Here, let's let's do this one first. We'll do the X-wing type thing. You can see this thing just kind of hovers, and I don't understand how to fly it. But we're heading back down to the ground, so we won't let it crash. <laughs> Um, and then there's one more I want to show you guys. This steampunk battleship. This thing is 
fucking awesome. Look how much it weighs. 57,000 pounds. Whoever made this is a fucking king of this game. This thing actually goes f really fast, too. Whoa, now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. Alright. Come on. I don't remember the camera freaking out like this last time I played this game, but... You see, this thing goes way faster than you think it would. Uh, 200 miles an hour. But, yeah, this is like a steampunk Victorian thing. Oh, God, I just crashed my game, I think. I think it just crashed the game. Yeah, display driver stopped responding and has recovered. Okay, well. Wow. It actually crashed the game. It didn't last time, but... I don't want to end the game on this. Or end the video on this, but... Here, let's try to let's try to relaunch the game real quick. All right, let's see. That was weird. I'm not sure why it freaked out. I don't want you to think that the game always freaks out like that. It's been a pretty stable game. Of course, it's not the game's fault anyway. It's whoever made this uh, thing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, God. That's weird. But, um... Here we go. Anyway, this is like a steampunk Victorian airship. And I think it's really sick. Let's not go that way because it crashed the game last time. Oh boy, I suck at flying the uh, in this game because flying is really hard to do with like like I said these digital. You fly with W A S D Q and E, um, and you know that on and off digital input's not really good for for flying. I'd much rather have a uh, joystick. Which by the way, this game I think does support controllers so and joysticks so. If you have that lying around, good for you, but unfortunately, I don't have one handy at the moment. But, um, yeah, that's simple planes. Um, I was going to exit, but I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna end the video on us flying off into the distance here. Um, but, yeah, it's a really good game, and like I said, it's $9.74 this week on Steam. Normal price is $12.99. I would absolutely recommend getting it. Uh, it's definitely worth the price. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys next time.